Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can work with middlewares in the Next.js application. On Thursday, June 28, 2022, Next.js released many breaking changes to their API. In Next.js 12.2, you're going to have many useful features, just like the stable middlewares, on-demand ISR, Edge API routes, Edge SSR, SWC plugins, and improvement in the image component of Next.js. In this lecture, we're going to talk about middlewares. To check the latest Next.js install or not, you have to create a new Next.js application and open the package.json file. Here you can find the latest version of Next.js. Right now, I have a version 12.2.3. If you have the version less than 12.2, you have to update this version using npm command. So open the terminal and execute a command called npm i for install and then specify next at the rate latest. So this command is going to install the latest version of Next.js in your application. Just for that, once you have your application, let me first start the development server. So I'm going to say here npm run dev. So this is going to start the development server. And just for that, once I have my development server, inside this Next.js, inside this index.js, let me remove this main content right from here. I'm going to add h1 heading tag and say index page. Save this file and now what I want, I want to create a middleware for this application. As you know, previously to create a middleware, you have to specify a file name called with underscore middleware and then you specify your extension to it and you create this file under the pages directory at any level. Middleware execution was based on the file path where it was created. You should declare one single middleware file in your application which should be located next to the pages directory and name without this underscore prefix. This middleware file still have either .js or .ts extension. That's upon you. Middleware file will be invoked for every route in the application. So let me just create this simple file in this application. So I'm going to select the next app and inside this root directory, I'm going to create a file called middleware. So I'm going to say here middleware.js. Make sure the name is exactly same. So the next JS can recognize your file. Inside this file, here is specify import. In the object, you call next response. I'm going to get this from next server. So from the next JS server library, I'm going to get this next response. Then I'm going to export a function and name this function middleware. Now that's upon you, you can specify any name to this function. Then I'm going to call parameter here request. And then I'm going to say here console.log. And in the double code, here I'm going to say middleware file and let me open the localhost 3000 you can see when i open the localhost 3000 i'm going to get this response i'm going to get this response from this middleware file now with this middleware you can also return a response so you can just simply say here return next response this object dot rewrite and here you call request dot next url something like this let me show you what do we have inside this variable. So just out of this middleware file, here I'm going to call this request URL. Save the changes. Inside this middleware file, here I'm going to have the href attribute. We have the origin, then protocol, username, password, and all the properties. So this middleware function is going to execute on every route. You can also specify custom matcher to this middleware. So let's suppose that you want to execute this middleware only for the about page. So right down here, just out of this middleware, we call here export constant config. And we're going to say here matcher and then specify here double quote and then pass here forward slash about. Save this file. Let me first stop the development server. Restart it to show you the result. Now the middleware is not going to execute. This is because we specify here a matcher. This middleware is only going to execute when we execute this about route. So let me just create here a component called about.js and here I'm going to say export default function and return a simple h1 heading tag and say about page to the project and here I'm going to call about. When I press enter, this will open my about page and if you open the console, you can see you're going to get your middleware. So this middleware is only going to execute when the middleware match to the route. Now, you're not limited to only specify single route inside this matcher. Instead, you can also call here an array. And inside this array, you can specify all your routes. So let's suppose you want to execute this middleware only for the about and dashboard route. 
in that case you specify here forward slash and then specify here about then specify the forward slash and you can also specify here path and asterisk so this will just match all the paths then you call here comma and specify the second argument and here we specify dashboard forward slash colon path and asterisk so this matcher is going to execute this middleware when the middleware match with this routes now let me show you a very interesting thing you can do with middleware let me clear this console.log and inside this response.rewrite right here here i'm going to call new url and inside this we specify the component url so i'm going to say here about and then as a second argument we specify request dot next url back to the project and reload it it's not going to do anything but if you specify here dashboard and if i create this component inside my pages let's suppose if i create here dashboard dot js and then i'm going to just copy this about page and then specify that here instead of about here i'm going to say dashboard save this file and now if i reload this you can see on the about page i'm getting dashboard component now let's suppose that you want to validate the authorized user in that case you're simply going to call the if statement here with is auth valid you're going to import this is auth valid function from the file and then here you say if the user is valid then just move to the next middleware and if the user is not authorized then you can return this statement you can just say new url login on the login route you're going to have your login component and redirect the user to the login component so for the protected routes you can use middlewares and redirect the unauthorized user on the login route you can also set cookies with middlewares you just need to simply create a new instance of next response then you simply create and set a new cookies so you call response.cookies and then call set the set is going to create a key and value pair so auth is a key and secret is the value after that if you want to set another cookies with options then you can do that as well you specify response.cookies.set and then specify the key and value as well as you specify options as well with this cookies and once you set that you can get these cookies by destructuring it you can simply say here constant value options and from the response you first get auth and if i say here console.log if i open my console you can see i'm going to get here secret because inside this cookies get with option i specify the key auth so the response i'm going to get is secret if i change this auth to next years let's suppose if i specify here next year let me save this back to the project reload it you can see I'm going to get awesome as a response and you're also going to get the path if you want to remove these cookies you can simply call here response.cookies.delete so in the double code you specify the key so this statement is going to delete the first cookies or if you want to delete all the cookies you replace this statement with this one so you specify response.cookies.clear so this statement is going to clear all the cookies and at the end you return the response.rewrite and then specify request.next url now if you remove this statement from middleware you might get some error inside a console so at the end when you write your middleware you should migrate to use rewrite or redirect i hope you understand how middleware is now being used in nextjs 12.2 if you find anything useful make sure to press the like button share this video with your friends subscribe for more latest videos that is all for now i will see you in the next one